Yeah. Uh, Joe will come up after. Yeah. Everybody, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm Bill Ty. I'm a venture capitalist. I've been funding companies in the Valley for what, since 91, 1991, so 23 years. I've funded maybe 110 companies, and uh, among them is Glide. I have to thank the people in this room and some of the other Bitcoin meetups because I've been looking for a way after coming to these meetings to acquire some Bitcoin. And I got so excited that I ran into a board meeting how many weeks ago? Uh, about, uh, almost four, about three, four, three and a half. Three, three or four weeks ago, and I said, I want this company <laughs> to be dealing in Bitcoin. And how many of you guys have an old iPhone or tablet or laptop that's just kind of sitting around? How many of you, you like might black turn that in for some Bitcoin? <laughs> okay, so this is a company that's done about $20 million of transactions in the last uh, kind of year, year and a half, 500,000 items. Right. Basically, you, you sell your old electronics, so it's, it's uh, tablets, iPhones, Androids, laptops, cartridge games, consoles, and you basically get a buyer, and to date, it's been pay, pay out in U.S. cash. But starting in 48 hours, you'll be able to dump your stuff into the site and get Bitcoin. And so with that, Drew, take it away. Thank you very much. That's the presentation. <laughs> I think he actually, he, uh, Bill did a great job. Um, I will uh, give you just a quick little overview of Glide and then show you, uh, I think we're going to try to demo the site real quickly and then if there's questions. But we're kind of at the other end of the spectrum here in that we're trying to use what's already out there, what all of you have done and what the, the, uh, uh, the Bitcoin uh, world has created and trying to take away friction, which is what Glide's about. We're trying to get people to use it. And as opposed to saying, I'm going to go and buy Sacramento Kings or go to Overstock, we're going to make it so the average person uh, can go and actually sell their stuff for Bitcoin and make it incredibly easy and take away the challenge. And that's what Glide's about. We um, were founded, our founder came from eBay. I was at eBay. I ran eBay Motors for a while. Um, all about, again, making transactions easy and making it so buyers and sellers can deal directly uh, and kind of get out of the way and let the markets take place. Um, as Bill said, we've done about 500,000 transactions to date. Uh, we're almost to 20 million GMV, GMV in total, and uh, backed by, by Bill's company, Charles River Ventures, and uh, RPM out of Ann Arbor. And what's interesting, too, is we've developed technology now that we can actually push it out across the web into, uh, into social feeds, uh, on other sites, and so people don't really have to come to Glide.com. The, the, the concept behind it, what we think is really interesting is, yes, we see electronics as the first place to start, um, but it's really much more. Think about all the goods that people have. Again, of course, there's eBay, there's Amazon, et cetera, but it's about getting people to sell. And it's really hard to get consumers to sell. It's kind of like the old Yogi Berra line with eBay that, uh, you know, he'd say, uh, that restaurant's so popular, no one goes there anymore. It's a little bit like eBay and other places that um, consumer selling is so hard, a lot of people don't do it. Right? Um, and so we have said, how can we make it easy and how can we have a controlled marketplace where you basically don't need to know anything. All you have to do is have an item in your hand, know what the item is. We make it then very easy through a couple of quick questions, no photos, no hard description. We even recommend a price. And what we're going to be doing with Bitcoin is saying you can get paid in dollars or you can get paid in the equivalent of Bitcoin. So people who, again, may have heard something about Bitcoin but not quite sure how it works can say, Oh, I can get $100 for that iPhone 4, or I can get uh, the, uh, the equivalent in Bitcoin. Again, um, Glide's value proposition about making it easy. Uh, selling is as easy as throwing it away. It's, you get, um, our value is very competitive of what you're going to get in any other marketplace, and much better than trade-in. So we don't have the extra handling costs. We don't have someone else who's then buying it and running it through the supply chain. You're selling it to a buyer, and it's safe. We're a controlled marketplace, and we think that's going to be important, obviously, in this environment, too, where there's a lot of questions and people are wondering, how exactly does this work? Um, how do I make sure that uh, transactions and products end up the way I think they're going to, uh, they're going to go? Um, on the retail side, on the buy side, um, which we'll roll out later, the buy side is a, is a curated buying experience where, unlike at some sites where you see a ton of different options, you're going to just buy a product. I, need, I want to buy an iPhone 5S. I want to buy it in excellent shape. I don't really care who the person is. I don't care what their feedback is. And if there's a problem, Glide will stand behind it. And kind of, um, this is just a, a little overview of, of, our, of our site and how our engine works. And basically, the key point is that unlike sites that you have to go and do a lot of work, again, when you come to our site, you're basically going to list the product. We're going to recommend a price. And, and our engine is based on a lot of meta metadata, a smart search. Uh, market pricing, we know what's going on in the industry, 
We know what our pricing history is. We're all about conversion. We want people to actually have a successful transaction. But what's key then is that we send to the seller a box with the label of the buyer on it. All they need to do is put the item in the box. It goes through the USPS. It can be completely um, tracked, which is also in interesting from a Bitcoin standpoint and, and any concerns about you know, what would happen down the road. Um, and it goes to the buyer. And as soon as the buyer receives it and says, yes, that's the product I thought I was getting, yes, it's, it's as described, then we release the funds and, uh, and the seller uh, will, will pick up the person, will get the proceeds from, um, from what they sold. And, and so it's a controlled marketplace. Should there be any problems, they deal with us. A seller doesn't have to run down a buyer, vice versa, um, which, which happens on many other sites. Um, as I mentioned, it's not just about Glide.com. We now have been able to push our, our site, basically embed our marketplace in social feed, in banner ads, uh, in partner sites. We're working with some of the MVNOs for phone plans where they just want people to uh, buy a device and then sell into it and then pick up a, a phone uh, a phone plan. And so, again, all in the spirit of we want to help people learn about this, um, try Bitcoin, um, sell their stuff for Bitcoin, get into the Bitcoin world, and we're, we're distributing our marketplace in what we call atomized commerce across the web. And it'll be for both uh, buy side as well as sell side. Initially, again, on the Bitcoin <coughs> world, uh, Bitcoin side, it's just going to be to sell your stuff and get Bitcoins. So why are we doing this? Um, Bill asked us to do it. Um, we <laughs> thought it was a great idea. And again, it really speaks to, to our um, kind of our DNA and, uh, and our and sort of our, our uh, you know, birthright from the standpoint of trying to take away friction, try to make things easy. How did we get someone who's a little bit on the fence of do I sell something to now uh, make that step? We compete with people putting phones and iPads and tablets in drawers, not really going to someplace else. We want to get it so people think about, wow, this is a great way I can now go get Bitcoin. I've heard a little bit about it. I actually don't want to go in pocket and, and, and write a check or you know, put some cash down or transfer money or uh, use any kind of electronic payment. I actually have some stuff here that I basically have written off. I'm going to go try Bitcoin. Uh, and I think that plays well in the valley. That plays well you know, across the country. And so we're really trying to create this easy on-ramp that people feel like I now own Bitcoins. I can try Bitcoins. And I really did not have to go and you know, move some money around that I was concerned about. And it really fits with, with our ethos of frictionless, making it easy, encouraging people to, to, to try. Yet again, our underpinning, and it's really important to us, is that we still feel that we offer better value than competitive offerings. So it's not that we're trying to just, you know, just through Bitcoin, we're still trying to get people to realize higher value, but Bitcoin is a way that they realize that value and they actually may try our, our process as well as now our process is going to help someone actually sell product and get Bitcoin. So with that, we thought we'd actually uh, do a quick little, just show you the demo. Can we, uh, yeah. Nice. Um, just to kind of show you with the listing again, this isn't live yet. It'll be in uh, about uh, 36 hours, maybe 48, depending on how things roll out. Um, so have your phones ready. Yeah, so have your phones <laughs> ready. Be the first to uh, actually get Bitcoin. Cause there, as far as we know, there's no other marketplace. There's no other places of any kind of um, scale or size where you actually can sell stuff for Bitcoin in the States. There are probably places advertising, but we have a robust buy side. Again, so we've, again, 500,000 transactions, um, good traffic, so you get good value. So it's not just disposing of it. You're getting that good value, but you're getting it in Bitcoin. So Joe will uh, kind of walk us through. So here's our search. Yeah, or so that's what you're doing. So you pick yeah. your product, you pick your carrier. Yeah, you pick your carrier. Say, I had an iPhone 4S. Um, I have a, it's a and t carrier. And you say which gigabyte size you have, what color. There you go. Like, it's black here. Okay. And you don't need to know anything. And right. Next, at this point, we're trying to establish what condition it is and <coughs> or what we can offer you um, or what we think the fair market price is. And again, so, the reason we need to do this is we have buyers coming. They're going to buy a product. They want to get exactly what they think they're getting. So this helps us establish what condition, but it takes seconds to do it. So yes, it turns on, has no uh, you know, dead spots. Uh, let's say it's got some cracks. Yep. Okay, Does, is there any engravings? Nope. And I might drive the power adapter and cable. Yep, sure, I got that. Okay, we recommend $141 is the market price that someone would see. You can go higher or lower if you think that I got to get, you know, I just want it to be a done deal. Um, and you'll go there. It's basically a guaranteed sale. 
where you say, I have my heart set on getting $150 or $149, but we are recommending a price that we know will, will, will move the product. And here on the, the currency side, and this is what we're, what we're rolling at now, you have an option of getting paid in Bitcoin. And so at that point, someone will see, and should there be other currencies down the road, of course, we'll be able to put those in there as well. Uh, would see they list the product for sale immediately there. Uh, yes, I'm ready to ship. And you're, you'll create an account. Um, you will also have an option when you get your, when you, uh, we'll notify you when it sells. Typically it sells within a couple hours. If it's a really long tail product, it may take longer. Uh, even they are selling pretty quickly. We're about two thirds iOS, a third uh, Android. Um, once it sells, we send again this, the seller the box, all the shipping information, they put it in the mail. And when the seller, the buyer receives the product, says, yep, that's it. Um, we'll notify the seller their funds are available, and that's when then they can withdraw the funds either through Bitcoins or through uh, ACH or through check. Yeah? Um, it says there that the list price is 0.1950 Bitcoin. Yeah. So if there is a huge discrepancy by when I initiate this... That's an estimate, so it will not be until the actual transaction. That's part of our model is that we have to wait till it's actually... It will still be uh, probably a couple of days. Yeah, I'm just pulling up. Yeah. We have one section in here. Yeah. Maybe we should make it more clear, but we kind of, when you say, you select Bitcoin and say, Digital currency, your proceeds of Bitcoins are only estimated and will be based upon the currency's value at the time of withdrawal. So, right. there is some. Yeah, so, um, right, so that's why we can't do it because there's a time lag where someone's going to actually get the product and then um, say, so, yeah. Where do you buy your Bitcoin? Um, so, we will be doing it through Coinbase. Coinbase. Yeah, Coinbase. Yeah. Coinbase. Yeah. Coinbase. Yeah. Coinbase. Yeah. Yeah. You're not holding me, you're just. We're not holding, exactly. At some point we may, but we're not right now. That's the plan, yeah. Um, do you have any idea what the minimum size merchandise you have to control in order to keep taking your costs? Um, well, we think, uh, well, I mean, on a per item basis, we're okay. I mean, we've got it factored in between the shipping and our, well, you our can't straight fees. You can't take something for $5. Well, we're, so we're not actually taking it, right? So we know yeah, we're. We can't handle something. We can't. So there's the, the buyer pays shipping, um, and the seller pays a box fee, so we're, we're okay. Okay. And our in our typical um, spread, as you know, as compared to eBay, is about ten percent too. It's ten percent, so that's where we make we you know we we make our money, and there will be a little bit of an additional fee um, using bitcoins at least initially. But we're going to test it, and if we're successful in getting more people to to uh, uh, sell their stuff for bitcoins, I'm sure our fees will come down even from there. But we think it's pretty uh, pretty affordable. Yeah. So, so there, there are two ways you could run this. The, what you're doing is really running an exchange. Right. But, but, but what I thought you were doing first is uh, forget the dollars, just you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, and then you're just passing it. Through. And, and, and I know okay. there's no market. I did ask about did that, ask that too. Yeah. I yeah. wanted that they have a natural escrow function. Right. Right. And, and that's, what, that's what seemed to be attractive. And we may. And sidestep all the other stuff. Right. And now you start getting the time Right, and I think that's something that's definitely will be getting a lot of consideration. But this is our step immediately. This is kind of closer to home right now, but it's absolutely. Mm -hmm. As Bill said, we have escrow. Yes. We have that. We have a great. We built our own fraud algorithms. We're, you know, knock on wood. You may see that some things feel. coming. So help uh, us. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's where we like to go. Uh, now, can I buy electronics using Bitcoin? Not yet. So the buy side's a little bit complicated because of the timing again, and that you're buying well before you're going to receive it, and there's just certain challenges that we have, but we will eventually be able to buy inside. So we thought there was an immediate need. We thought it's differentiated, and again, we're really geared towards letting people know that I can go get Bitcoins. I can take my you know, Madden 13 and get Bitcoins for it. I can take... Uh, you know, any old game that's sitting around the house. Yeah, actually get the converse is if you bought Bitcoin a while ago and now you're like, I have all this free money, like what am I going to do with well, it? Of course, yeah. and that, right. And so we'll definitely want to get into that world. Too. Okay. Uh, what about people we'll after just missing some keys? Or... Uh, well, we, we have. We actually sell even broken phones, too, because there's a buyer. So we, it's just you have to describe it that way. And we're all about transparency. So we want the buyer to know I'm getting a laptop that's missing some keys. There are a lot of repair shops to buy stuff off the site. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, well, what are your extra points for including nice pictures? Or no, because you don't have to do pictures. You know? So we actually put on phones. Uh, there's a very vibrant uh, broken phone market. And so we offer that. And it's, those are bought quite quickly. Um, 
the same thing on other other devices as well. But again, we're, we're only offering a suggested price. Like, right. do you feel strongly that your phone, you know what, it's, it's not excellent, it's superb. <laughs> yeah. um, and that people are going to love it. Yeah, try it. Move yeah. it up a little bit. Most people, though, kind of Go offer with the our suggested price. Yeah. yeah. Do you, so do you do uh, any demand customer on the seller? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what's this? Are you doing any vetting? Uh, the seller, yes, the yes. Sellers yeah, the seller, so sure. We do a lot of... Uh, um, well, first, between the do need to put in credit cards. Uh, you know, to date, our consumer sellers do. There's Facebook Connect. There's ways that we've been able to establish some history on the seller, so learn more information on. Um, and of course, then sellers will get a box, so we actually would have a physical address for them, right? Um, but um, you know, our our purpose to date has been to make sure that the seller is a good qualified seller, so that a buyer has a good experience. It's not been to have an inordinate amount of information other than making sure that it's a smooth transaction. That's good. So, okay. How do you um, deal with unhappy customers, like slightly unhappy? Yeah, yeah. So that's why we have customer and support. <laughs> and, and in some cases, we'll go back to the buyer and say, will you take a price adjustment? If it's a problem, um, they say, no, it's not what I want. Then we help run the return. We send a box out. They send it back. We get it back to the, to the seller. And so again, we're, it's a managed marketplace. So we're really geared about making sure you have a great experience. And that's why, again, we have our you know we have our fees. But if it's not as described, we're going to make good. We're going to stand behind the buyer and then get this product back to the seller. But that also obviously puts a little bit of a challenge on uh, people having the funding and then no recourse. So um, that's what we need to make sure. Is it possible to import my like, eBay reputation and reputation? Yeah, that's <laughs> a, well, I haven't used eBay in five and a half years, but no. Yeah, so you learned the right way, but now you can make it easier. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Do you give in, your sellers any like procedure for clearing their private data from their devices? We did. We did. We did. We did. Especially well, if there's a Bitcoin wallet on there. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, we actually put instructions in each one of our um, boxes that tells them how to wipe <coughs> yeah. and everything. So, so the so. last thing you're going to do before you put it in the boxes, we, we hit you again with that information. This is exactly how to make sure your information is clean. Uh, how did you guys solve the chicken and egg problem? That's a tough thing. Marketplaces? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, chicken. chicken. <laughs> um, so it's something that whenever we think about a new category, it's the same. It's the same issue. So you can usually go ahead and, and work with some sources to get supply in advance, but we do get concerned about the classic supermarket if someone goes and there's you know there's nothing there. So um, it's um, in some cases uh, you know we can identify other sellers' pockets of supply, um, provide some special incentives for them to list, but it's. Um, that is always a challenge, in particular as we look out across new, the other verticals. We say, how are we going to establish a vibrant marketplace? Because it's all about the, di you know, the dynamic aspects of people seeing new product. But we're consumer to consumer based for the most part. And when a business seller comes to us, we tell them, you're going you're gonna to have a bad experience if you think you're going to get full retail. This is about people who are looking for value, good products, but at value. Same thing at eBay. And I, I lived in eBay Motors in the parts world. And whenever we have the big public companies say, Parts we hear it's a two billion dollar marketplace. We've got to be selling our parts. We say sure, but you're going to have to sell it at a, at a very competitive price. So it's all about expectations. The great thing though is if it's a consumer seller selling it, what works for them, we have a vibrant buy side because they're getting a good deal and a good deal on an iPhone, you know, five, even a five S now. People are selling or you know, a, a, a had an Air or a, you know, a, a three or a four. It, you can create a great replacement market for people who are looking for you know a secondary device or one for kids or something. Like that. <coughs> what are the main categories? So what, so 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 they, what, where what can people sell on the site? Do you want to go? Uh, it's uh, it's still primarily right now. It's still primarily phones and almost any any phone that you've you've uh, you know bought or been given the last five, five years. There's even a market for Blackberry. Yeah, Blackberries, <laughs> uh, Nokia's, we have... Um, you know, it's it's tablets, most tablets. Even, even Nooks, Kindles, I mean, everything, right? Tablets, so, phones, yeah. uh, Androids, um, and games. obviously games, a lot of broken devices. You'd be surprised how much a cracked screen or non-functional device is worth. Right. Um, there's really still a lot of value there. So. How is the price compared to like Best Buy trading value or you know, sure. Amazon trading? Sure. So you get uh, on the sell side, you're going to get between 20 and 50 percent more on why? Again, because they're buying it, then they have all the supply chain costs. They've got to package it up and sell to somebody else. So you get more from us. You get more than from Apple. And actually, yeah, we have we have a competitive here. We actually are not afraid to show the transparency 
of competitive pricing. So let's see if we got so here's a Samsung. On our site, you can see exactly what uh, it's called Self Smart. Um, okay. Well, we show we show price again. It's, we offer more uh, and the popular items an iPhone you know, five. It'll be a little bit closer, but even still, let's see. So on our site, it's under what's called Sell Smart, and it's in our Lightcast. So you can see competitive pricing there, and we want people to know this is it's we're transparent. This is what you're going to get on our site. This is what you're going to get on others. Sometimes they offer more, but the vast majority of the time, we offer more than Apple, Zelle, and the other. No, it's not. Yeah, sorry, I'm not sure. Yeah, if you did. Okay. Uh, sorry. Or else have you uh, advertising going to start taking Bitcoin? I mean, going to start giving Bitcoin. Nowhere yet. That you're the basically the really first to know. <laughs> other than Bill. Bill, Bill, he's he's good at letting people know. <laughs> so I'm going to need a uh, screenshot so I can put it on Reddit later. Okay. Yeah, we, we can get that. that. Uh, yeah. If you give me your email address, yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.